Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Huncho here, back with another video. If you're not already, hit that subscribe button and let's jump into today's video. So this change in Fortnite has been applied for a long time now, and I kind of thought a lot of people knew not to use this setting on Epic, but I realized that a lot of people still do. They either use textures on high or textures on Epic, and that is just completely wrong. You want to use your textures on low. Now obviously there's different reasons to have it on epic or high. It's not going to make that big of a difference. However, the worse your graphics card gets and you have your textures on high or epic, the worse frames you're going to get, especially when you're actually fighting or you're in an end game situation. A lot of people go into creative and they stand still and look at the sky and look at FPS. And sure, you might get more FPS with it on epic, but that's not going to help you when the game's rendering with 40 people in a moving zone. So if you don't just believe me by my word, I'm going to show you the testing I did myself as well as a few things from NVIDIA where they talk about this and a solution where you can actually fix the problem and have your textures on low and get the same results as if you were getting higher FPS with your textures on Epic. So I tested a few different scenarios here. Here's in creative with a bunch of builds on the map and I wasn't actually moving. You can see the FPS is pretty constant, 466, 464, 462, 465. And it's about the same, about 465, 464 with it on Epic. When I did an in-game fight, these were all recorded on replay mode. 465, 63, 61. And you can see when I'm in the fight on textures on epic it's 458 62 and 63 so again not that big of a difference just for a normal fight here's a beginning of the game situation when things are rendering more 43 41 38 38 36 37 and now mind you i have an i7 9700 k and a 2070 super so my build is very balanced and my gpu is strong so it's not going to affect my fps as much as it might yourself but then when i did a scrim for end game you can see that I'm at 276, 274, 272, 271, 269, 267. So I'm going to go into this explanation and show the article that NVIDIA posted about this and the reasoning why people before put your textures on Epic rather than low. So this is an article that NVIDIA posted about latency and they talk about getting faster hardware. So before when people would look at Fortnite, the CPU usage was obviously way higher than the GPU usage. Like people are getting 90% CPU usage and 20% GPU. Usage. And that's not always a bad thing because you don't want your render queue being filled up. However, depending on your GPU and how it was running with the driver, obviously this was before, your GPU would run at a slower speed because it didn't need to run faster for the work it was doing. However, the faster speed it runs at, the faster that frame is gonna be rendered and lowering your latency. So in their Reflex article when it first came out, they talk about the boost feature, which I'm gonna talk about how you don't even have to use Reflex to use a feature like this. So it overrides that power saving feature that I was talking about where it's gonna downclock your GPU because it's not working as hard. Again, with the newer drivers, you don't really run into this issue as much. For my GPU, even when I use a boost lock, I get the same FPS, so it doesn't affect me. But I know previously when I've, give, when I've given out this feature, there's a lot of comments talking about how it helped stabilize their FPS or even increase their FPS in game. So when you're in a heavily CPU bound game like Fortnite, the boost feature allows your clock speed to stay the same and not down clock itself. So this is gonna lower your latency. Obviously it's gonna increase the power usage, but your system should be able to handle that because it's not that significant of an increase. So the software that I want to talk about is the EVGA Precision X1. Now this doesn't work with AMD cards and I'm not as familiar with that brand to know which softwares can do this, but it's this boost lock feature where you're going to lock your boost at your max speed. So as you can see, if I turn it off, I'm all the way down to 1600 and obviously I'm not doing anything in my game right now. The issue that people always worry about with this is they say, well, I don't want to overclock my GPU. Technically, this isn't overclocking, but even if you're worried about your temperatures getting too high, you don't even have to run it at max speed. You could drop it down 100 and run it at 1860, and you're still going to get more performance than that 1600. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned and hit that subscribe button for more content in the near future. Peace out.